the most extraordinary smart cube you've ever seen on my channel. <laughs> what? This thing is teaching you algorithms. Oh, I'm going to explode. God, it's so hard. And now what's going on? Mm -hmm. I'm a little amazed as you can see. Goddamn incredible cube. The technology nailed it. I didn't expect it. What's up? This is Cubastic. I have an amazing package on my desk. Literally amazing. I know what's in there, but I'm dying to unpack it. So, without any further delay, I'll unpack it right now. This package was sent to me from Korea by Smart Cube Lab. The title says there is something very interesting here, a smart Rubik's Cube, something we love so much, something I love. I had a huge collection of smart cubes, I don't know where it is, but you all remember a huge amount of videos about smart cubes. And now, right in this moment, my collection will be completed with another cube. But I assure you, this is going to be the most extraordinary smart cube you've ever seen on my channel. I don't think you've ever seen it anywhere. Ready? I'm worried. So, another box. It's a bubble wrap with Korean air in it. And here it is, a product called the X Mars Cube. This is what it looks like. It's hard to understand what it is at all, and I want to see it unboxed. Okay, well, then... <laughs> what? Oh my god, it's something fantastic, it looks like a cross cube. Roughly speaking, it's a cube with extra layers, and uh, they are spinning. The motors are spinning. Controllers are inside, in this cube. So here are the charging slots for the cube, I guess we'll have to charge it. Did you see that? When I scroll through it, it spins around and uh, there are supposed to be some electric motors uh, that can generate electricity when we turn it fast. I want to admit that I didn't expect this, that's really cool, exciting. I don't know if there should be a charging wire in here or we're gonna use our wire, no, there is a wire in the set of course. And here is the instruction, I better read the manual for this thing. From what I can read here is that I only realized that Chinese, Japanese and Korean hieroglyphs are different. Here on the bubble wrap it's written, this channel is worth to subscribe to it, and here are all the reasons why you should do it. So, I don't understand why you haven't subscribed yet. So, hit the red subscribe button with your smart cubes or with something else to make it great. And now I want to explore this puzzle in details and show you all of its advantages, drawbacks and everything it can do. Oh, <laughs> I just turned it on behind the scene. I'm sorry you didn't see my hysteria because I was really excited and unfortunately we didn't record that moment. But you can see it for yourself. First, it makes noises. Second, it glows. For some reason, there's only one side glows. And if I turn it around... You know... What does that mean? Ah, so we have different modes here, on this side. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. These are the numbers. Look, seven. This is 8, 9, 0. There are 10 modes. Number 0. I guess to choose it we have to do this thing. I've chosen it. What's next? <gasps> this is an electronic cube. Look, look at this. I'm rotating the yellow side. And it's virtually spinning that side. It's turning. If it was a regular cube and you turn the white side, a red stripe would appear on the green side and so on. Here is the same thing, I'm rotating the top yellow side and the top layer is moving. I guess this way we can scramble it and solve it like a regular cube. This cube has very unusual shape. 
and it has uh, these um, protruding sides. It looks like a cross cube, but I think we can get used to it. To be honest, I haven't figured out how these mods work. For example, now the cube has been scrambled to the state of the cross. Uh, now it calls me. Hello. What? People watch my videos without a subscription? How can it be? We have so many videos about puzzles. Yeah, I know. I know we are trying to make the best content. Ok, I will remind them about the bell. I don't want anyone to miss my new videos. Bye. Thanks. So? It calls me again? Or I get an SMS? Oh, what's up? It's my first time on your channel. It's great. Subscribe. I'm telling you. Subscribe and ring the bell. Man, this is actually something new to me and it's amazing. We're assembling the cross. Here, two details of the cross. Yeah, that's it. Damn. Awesome. Look at it, it all works. This is the white and red and green corner that we have to put here. We spin this twice. Oh, I'm going to explode! God, God, it's so hard! Because all these elements are rotating in such unusual way, it's hard to see which direction we have to spin them. The sound has changed. I put one side together and it went a little bit different. Let's try to put the other layer together. Let's do it fast. <laughs> God, I feel like a happy kid! There it is again, I've put together a second layer and the sound has changed a little bit again. Ok, let's try to do OLL now. Yeah, I assembled the yellow side, the PLL has left, I've got a Y permulation here. I can't make it now. A T perm. I can't do a T perm because it's too hard to do it with this cube. I did it! I sold that cube! I don't know what to say, friends, this is only the first mod, zero. And to be honest, I'm already shocked. How do I get back to the main menu? Oh, I just have to push the button once and it resets modes. Mode number one, let's go. What happened? It shows me how to put it together! Oh my gosh! The cube is moving the details itself! Showing me how to solve it! What if I scramble it? Totally. This one here. It tells me what to do and also helps to rotate the layers. I push it just a little bit and it finishes this movement by itself. I guess it's telling me exactly how to solve a puzzle in my hands. Ah, it noticed I'm slowing down. So it tells me after a while. Now it's going to move again. If I don't slow it down, it won't help me. It's very funny. For example, you are solving a cube and you don't know exactly how to solve it, which way to go, and you just get told to do it. Just spin this one, you know? It's genius! How does it all fit in its processor? Ok, let's try to reset the mode and try the mode number just a cube. What does it offer me? Oh, this is the PLL training. In this case, this is some kind of a teacher who asked me to repeat this. This thing is teaching you algorithms. Yeah, it offers a random algorithm and then you solve it. One, two, third mod. Let's try it. There's a salt cube. 
And now what's going on? It's disassembling itself. It's not just changing colors, it is doing it physically. Holy shit, it's goddamn incredible cube. Oh my god, the technology nailed it. I didn't expect it to do this. How do I get it to get sold again? What mode was that? Sir, it's disassembling itself and letting me to solve it. I'm a little amazed as you can see. It's so rough. I'll try to solve it fast this time. Oh my god, I finally solved it, and it wasn't that easy. I'm looking forward to the time when the shape of uh, this cube will be implemented in a smart cube like this. And by the way, I figured out why it has such shape. In order to rotate the bottom layer and then side face without having any problems. We need uh, these projections. Because here, in order to rotate the side, the cube had to somehow flip over or something like that, and it's going to be very uncomfortable to do it. And here we have everything modeled well. So I shuffled the cube. And what's next? Solve yourself! Solve yourself! How do I control it? It was all written, but it was in Korean, so I didn't understand anything. But how do I control it? Mm -hmm. No way. Okay. I don't like that I'm little confused and I don't know how to proceed and I haven't yet figured it out. Okay, so let me spend some more time with it and give you my full opinion, tell you everything I feel about this cube, show you all its functionality. We will meet again probably the next day, but for you it's happening right now. And here is the thing, it is the same day. It took me 15 minutes to read... Uh, what do I call it? Instructions? God, all this time there was a manual in English and I was looking at the Korean site. Holy shit! I've actually read everything in Korean. What a moron! Of course everything became clear, I just had to turn the page. Okay, there is a very complicated control of the cube itself. The mode switching, uh, there is a lot of modes here and uh, we can choose them using double digits. For example, zero on one side. Choose 0 on one side and 0 on another side. It is the most uh, common mode. We can scramble and solve the Rubik's Cube ourselves. So simple. It's just a regular cube. Reset it. The most interesting feature is mode number 72. Select 7 here and 2 here. 1, 2. This is the coolest function we all have been waiting for. I shuffle the cube, I turn it randomly. Leave it on the table. And after a while it starts to unscramble itself. Quite quickly and very spectacularly, the cube is actually mechanically solving itself after I scrambled it. And the interesting thing is uh, that it didn't repeat my moves backwards, it chose its best effective algorithm. I mean, I can scramble the cube, make at least 200 turns and it will find a way to solve it in 20 steps. Let's look at the most interesting mode by numbers of 8 and 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3. Look at what is happening now. It shuffles itself and starts the solving. Now listen. Q. 
Can you get the song? Write it down in the comments. So, guys, there's a lot of algorithm learning modes and many others. It was just a first look at this puzzle, at uh, this device. I can't even call it using simple words. It's just a masterpiece of the speed cubing industry. If it also had a shape of a regular Rubik's Cube, then it would be just a mind-blowing thing. But for now, it was just an unboxing and a first look at this new puzzle. I will definitely look at the whole list of capabilities, it is really huge. And I'm also going to make an additional second video, in which I will probably compare this cube to the other smart cubes, in case uh, this video gets 20,000 likes. I believe in all of you, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, not to miss new cool videos. This was Cubastic and SmartCube X Mars Cube. Bye and have a good time!